So let's go ahead and uh, continue, I guess. Let's move on to chapter two. <clears throat> now, one cool thing about this game is that you actually uh, get to move around on the map to your own uh, leisure. You can go back to certain areas that you've been to before. You can manage your items, which I don't think I really need to manage them right here. And uh, you can basically go to which area you want to go. Now, as of right now, this is still going to be pretty linear. So uh, there's not going to be a lot we can really do. But uh, in this game, once we get to a certain point, you can actually do level grinding, which is not something you can do in a lot of Fire Emblem games. Uh, really just this one, Fire Emblem 2, and Fire Emblem Awakening. There might be another one, but I haven't played all the... Uh, Japanese Fire Emblem game, so I don't know for sure. But regardless, let's go ahead and move on to Eid. King Hayden apologizes for being unable to spare soldiers. However, he does provide Erica with a small but trusted party of vassals. Erica is grateful for the king's aid. <clears throat> Chasing rumors of her brother, she sets out for Grotto. The group's first stop is the remote village of Ide, which was, until very recently, a part of Reneus. Here, Erica sees the devastation. Ah. Erica sees the devastation of Reneus with her own eyes. Why do I keep slurring and messing up my words today? and get to a bunch of words that I don't know how to pronounce. Seth has mapped out a route for us. We'll travel south of Reneas and pass through Seraphiu and Negrado territory. Hmm, that would seem a sensible plan. Assuming, of course, that we can avoid any run-ins with Grotto soldiers. Princess Erica, may I have your leave to scout ahead? From the sky, I'll have a better chance of spotting any nearby troops. We're yours to command, your highness. Will you give us your permission? Yes, of course. Keep an eye out for enemy bowmen, though, Vanessa. Yes, your highness, I shall. I shall prove myself worthy of the honor of your trust. She seems very sincere. Sincere, yes, quite. Uh-oh. Hey, boss, we found more villages right for the picking. One, two, three, ha-ha-ha. <laughs> I love a good war. With all those soldiers preoccupied, we're free to pillage as we please. Right, Bone, you're in charge. Grab everything that's not nailed down and bring it to the hideouts. I'm on it. That guy's name is Bone. Dad, bandits approaching. Hmm? I'm getting you out of here, Ross. You stay close to me. Well, let's start with that village there. Go to it, boys. It's all yours. Cut down anyone fool enough to get in your way. I'm heading west around the mountains to the other villages. Oh no, not the village. Ugh. Ross, what is it? What's wrong? It's nothing. It's just a scratch. You're a warrior, Dad, and I am your son. I won't be beaten so easily. Don't risk yourself so foolishly. We need to get you some help. Please, someone help my son. Ah, this looks serious. I must report back to Princess Erica at once. I have bad news. The village to the east is under attack by bandits. Bandits? We have arrived at our first dilemma. We must move quickly and attract as little attention as possible, but... But I cannot stand by and watch innocents be harmed. Vanessa, how fair are the villagers? I spotted one injured person. He appeared to be just a child. Father Mulder, can your staff help him? Well, yes, I can heal his injuries with my staff, but... I cannot do it from he here. He's too far away. I must be near him. Princess, please leave this to me. I shall bring the boy here. All right, Vanessa, it's up to you. Very well, I'm off. Okay, so here we go. Chapter 2. 
First up, we have two new units. We have Mulder and Vanessa. Uh, Vanessa is a Pegasus Knight. Pegasus Knights can use lances, and much like Cavaliers, they can move very far, but in addition to that, Pegasus Knights can fly over mountains and land on spaces that pretty much any other ground unit can't land on. So, very, very mobile. As far as stats are concerned, uh, one thing I've always noticed about Vanessa is that she has a ridiculously low strength growth. So she's never going to be able to deal very high damage. There's other Pegasus Knights and other flying units we'll be getting later that can deal a lot more damage. But uh, Vanessa has, um, you know, pretty good speed growths. Um, HP's alright, skill's alright, luck's alright. Uh, for a Pegasus Knight, they generally have high resistance to magic damage. And uh, defense, even though her defense growth is low... She has pretty good defense for a Pegasus Knight right now. The fact that she's actually tied with Franz is uh, kind of incredible, if you ask me. It's even better than Erica's uh, defense growth, too. So yeah, she's a, kind of a weird Pegasus Knight. Definitely not the best in this game, but very odd that her strength is actually lower than her defense. Normally, it's not like that at all. Uh, now we have Mulder. Mulder is a priest. Uh, right now, priests can only heal, and that's all they're going to be used for. We'll get into uh, ways they can attack when they actually promote, but um, as far as Mulder is concerned, uh, decent skills, magic, and speed growth, but that's pretty much it. Everything else is kind of low considering. But let's go ahead and get started here. We need to start fighting against these terrible, terrible bandits. We have uh, a little kid who needs help, so we're going to go over here. We're going to rescue him with Vanessa, and we're going to try to bring him back. So we can heal him and then actually use him on our side. His father will be okay. His father is a fighter. Uh, his father can handle himself, I feel like. He might take some hits, but I don't think he'll actually be in danger. So we should honestly be fine. Let's go ahead and go to these villages. Uh, whenever you see a village that has, like, red roofs, as opposed to uh, villages that don't have red roofs, uh, they will actually give you items. So definitely check these out before bandits get to them. The most wonderful man rescued me. He was dressed like a mercenary, but he had an air of elegance about him. He gave me this elixir. I'm sure it'll help you on the battlefield. So yes, Elixir, they're basically a better healing item. While uh, Vulneraries heal uh, 10, I believe Elixirs... Oh yeah, they heal all HP, so they're definitely very, very good. Uh, I need to get some units on the battlefield here, so I'm going to move Gilliam and Franz kind of to the front. And Erica, we'll see what's inside this village before I move on. This is terrible. What are we going to do? Those bandits are so close. If we can't find some way to protect ourselves, the village is doomed. Perhaps. People, listen to me. You must close the village gates immediately. Hurry before the bandits arrive. Who are you? You aren't from one of the neighboring towns, are you? And your weapons give you away. You're no peasant. I am Ur. My name is Arena. I am a mercenary. A mercenary named Arena, is it? There's more to you than that, I feel. But don't worry. It's none of my affair. I haven't told you who I am yet, have I? I am Selina, a general in Grotto's army. Ah! Is something wrong? No, uh, nothing. It looks like those villagers have some bandit troubles. I would like to help, but I have orders. I am to leave for the capital immediately, and I cannot stay. Your aim, armed, and you claim to be a mercenary. Will you help them? Um, is there a problem? No, of course I'll help them. It's just, you're one of Grotto's generals. Why? These aren't soldiers, they're people. Should they suffer because their leaders fight? I have petitioned your aid. Take this as payment. Okay, well... Um, I guess not all of Grotto's men are bad, evil. Thank 
god, but yeah, wow. Kind of surprised me a little bit. Oh yeah, and they kind of uh, touched on this earlier, but be careful of peg knights around archers because peg knights will take triple the amount of damage from bow weapons, so keep that in mind at all costs. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I need to... I'm going to drop Ross right here. And I'm going to move... Vanessa right here. This should be still out of range of this guy. And then I can rescue him and then try to bring him back the following turn. I'm also going to keep Seth here so he can just immediately take uh, Garcia from Vanessa when uh, she brings him back. That might also save quite a bit of time. Now let's talk to Ross after we heal him, of course. Okay, let's talk to him. Hey, listen, my village is being attacked by bandits. My name's Ross. Come on, you have to help me wipe those thugs out. Alright, just, just take a deep breath and calm down, Ross. Leave the villages to us. We'll drive off the bandits. Seth, take the boys somewhere safe. No, wait, I'm going to fight too. But my father is out there all alone fighting those bandits. I've got to get back to him as quickly as possible. I'm the son of the great Garcia. As long as I have my axe, no bandit will ever defeat me. Alright, I can see you're not going to be swayed. But you must promise you'll stay close to us. So yes, Ross is now on our side. Now, looking at Ross, his stats don't look too great. And he's a level 1 journeyman. This game introduces three units that are called trainee classes, which uh, before they actually get a class like Cavalier, Knight, uh, Myrmidon, basically any of those like first classes, they have to get to level 10 as their trainee class. So they will take a bit longer to get to their final promotion, but they will gain EXP fast, and their stats are actually really, really, really good. Especially Ross. Uh, Ross actually gets really, really high strength growths. And considering one of his final class possibilities, he can be really, really broken. So uh, we're definitely going to try to use him as much as possible so we can get him up those levels. But... It will take a bit, and it will probably take a lot of grinding, so I'm not going to go out of my way to make Ross promote to his first class, but, uh, you know, if there's a hit every now and then, I can probably take it and see what I can do. Like, okay, good, he's not in the way. That's good. Actually, wait, you can attack the... Okay, yeah, you can. In that case, I'll go ahead and move here. Equip the Iron Sword. Get you over here as well. Actually, wait before I do that. Okay, yep. You're fine there. Let's get moving. This bandit should die. I don't see any re... Wow, he did not double? That actually kind of surprises me. Eh, uh, another subpar level up. He might be able to actually double now that he gained that one point of speed. Which is uh, kind of funny, I guess, but still kind of annoying, I guess. Okay, so before we finish this map, we do need to uh, talk uh, to Garcia with his son. Just so we can make sure that Garcia gets recruited to our team. Okay, uh, I might actually use Erica right here so I can fight against these guys. That's probably the best idea anyway. Still don't really need to use Mulder for anything yet. I do need to be kind of careful because I do not want these uh, bandits to get this village. And yeah, okay, good. They're not going to just move over and get it, so that's nice. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to attack with the hatchet. 
not a whole lot of ex oh well 33 okay that is a lot of experience never mind that actually was a great deal of experience forget what i said also to make sure that he's not in the forest when he attacks let me move over here it's always important to pay attention to terrain and where you're standing so definitely watch your back at any costs Oh, wow, well, I need to get Molder over here now. Okay, let's go ahead, wait, and see what this turn's gonna be. Okay, good. Good job, Franz. Making me proud. Making me proud, except for your level ups, anyway. My god. I never remember his level ups being that bad. It kind of surprises me a bit. Okay, so I need to put... Okay, if I move Franz over here, he is going to get attacked. So one thing I am going to do is I'm going to heal him really quickly. Okay. Now... I could go ahead and straight up attack these guys, but the problem is they're on the mountain peak. Which means that uh, they're pretty well defended from up there, so I'm probably not going to uh, hit them if I try to attack them straight up. So I'm going to play a little more conservatively here. Even though he has a lance, there's no way they're going to go after Seth. Actually, just to make sure. If I do that, they might go after Seth. Just because he won't be able to attack back. But this way he doesn't kill any units accidentally. Okay, now we'll move you here. So we can recruit Garcia. Okay. Yeah, you'll be fine right there. Now let's get Franz moving. This is going to be probably a risky maneuver here. Actually, this way I can maybe lure them over. And I can still move through here. Okay, good. That, yeah, that's a, probably a better way to move. Okay, let's talk to him with Ross. Dad! Ross, boy, what did I tell you? What are you doing here? Don't worry about me. Hurry up and get yourself to safety. Did you really think I could just run away while you fight, Dad? You taught me that fighters fight for what's important to them. There's no way I'm leaving. I'm fighting just like you. Ross. Alright, listen to me. We'll cut our way out of here together. Okay, I think I should be fine. I don't think they're in range of attacking anything important. At least I hope they're not. Um... could put you right here. Actually, will Bone attack me if I do that? No, he won't. Frickin' Bone. His name is Bone. Okay. Nice. Still can't double with the Steel Sword yet, which is kind of a shame. But it is what it is. Okay. Aw, oh, damn it. Why did they do that? Oh, and he's gonna go straight for the village, too. Shoot. Which means I need to kill this guy immediately, which I hate that I have to. Okay, well, I'm gonna do this. Like, can you come back and attack me? No, you can't. Okay, good. Move you here, just so I can very quickly and easily pick up the item. Let me get some more experience with Ross. So yeah, for a while you can literally just get pot shots with Ross and then just try to get experience that way. Okay. 
Okay, if Erica criticals right here, I'm gonna be mad. <laughs> I'm gonna be really, really mad. Hopefully he goes after Gilliam, though. And now I have this little thing I have to worry about. This could also be a problem. Because I really, really want that uh, house over there. Okay. For this to work... You have to hit. Wait a minute, who are you? Thank you, thank you, Garcia. Whew. That could have been bad if you missed. Because I think he's programmed to go straight for the village. I'm not sure, but uh, either way, I didn't want to risk it. So, we're just going to take out Bone. Erg, blast! Frickin' Bone. I can't believe his name is Bone. <laughs> and come on! Your level up suck! <laughs> I really hate saying that, but oh my god, Franz, you're not doing me very good in the level up department. Okay, I need to get Molder out of the way. 